PCI Express lanes are the pathways that transfer data between the CPU and the devices that are connected to the motherboard. These pathways or lanes start at the CPU. Here's two AMD Ryzen chips, a 7000 and a 9000 series. Each of these support up to 28 PCIe Gen 5 lanes. Four of those lanes are reserved for linking to the chipset. Once the processor is socketed, that four lane link drops from Gen 5 to Gen 4 because that's what's currently supported by today's chipset connections. That leaves 24 PCIe Gen 5 lanes that can be connected directly from the CPU to other devices. The first four lanes go to an M.2 supporting up to Gen 5 for a boot drive. The next 16 lanes go to a by 16 slot supporting up to Gen 4 for a graphics card. The last four direct CPU lanes go to a by 16 slot supporting up to Gen 4. This slot could be used to connect devices like a USB expansion card, capture card, or an NVMe SSD adapter. The four chipset connection lanes run to a B650 chipset, adding eight more PCIe lanes. Four connect to an M.2 slot, supporting up to Gen 4. Two connect to the Wi-Fi and LAN at Gen 4. The last two slots are by one, with each slot running on one lane, supporting up to Gen 3 connect things like a network card, a sound card, or a Bluetooth adapter. As data transfers to and from devices connected directly to the CPU, they have independent use of the connected lanes and available bandwidth. For the devices connected to the chipset, the chipset manages the data transfer between the CPU and the devices via the chipset link. One disadvantage of connecting things to the chipset is an increase in latency. More complex chipsets with more devices connected may experience a bottleneck, further increasing latency when using a chipset connected device.